Hey everybody, I thought I'd shoot a short tutorial, well as short as it can be, um, about the Impero 2 Stomp. It's got some weird limitation with stereo output from USB um, into Logic. I'm using it on Logic on the Mac, um, but it should be the same for you know any door that you use. Um, I'll explain what I mean. So basically your normal um, signal chain would be input left um, however you want to configure your amp cab um, and modulation now at the moment it is going to um, input output to B and also to A so you would think that I would be able to pan this left and right now I'm just going to make sure that in Logic, I've got this in stereo, which it is. Now, I've got some effects on here, which is not going out at all. If you change the output, um, not A and B, but just directly, so you make one signal chain, your effects are then in stereo output. I might up the um, the mix so you can hear the bouncing. Um, the way to get around it is actually to set up a different um, signal chain. So basically, we're going to go a Y to AB. And I still want to use the same amp and cab, but I want a dry output there and a wet output here. In your settings panel, under USB audio, if you check your output source, so uh, standard output is one and two, which is right, and then change this to FX sound source three and four. Now if we change the output here to FX send, that's going to 3 and 4 on the USB out. So if I go back to logic, I'm going to change this to mono for USB 1. And then input 3 and 4 will be stereo. So basically what you get, so you can hear the stereo effect. I'm just going to record it so I can demo what happens. So if I solo channel one, USB no effects, solo channel three and four. So lots of effects. Um, I can essentially split that into two, uh, left and right. So if I want less of the dry effect, this is only dry, that is amp and effects. Cool. So if you wanted to have two amps, two paths, uh, you can do that. I've set it up on this channel. So we use the factory template parallel and you use input 
channel left and left. If you wanted to run a base amp on this channel, you would use input channel right. So you just change it here and then run a bass amp um, so you can run guitar and bass separately at the same time record at the same time or two guitars uh, with two inputs at the moment I'm using obviously one guitar into two amps so I've just got a JCM 800 into uh, rectifier cab uh, some studio reverb on the one side you will run out of resources um, so I can't go and put a ton of delay and that sort of stuff on here. But this is what this one would sound like. So FX Send, um, which is USB 3 and 4, and USB 1 and 2 there. So if we go into Logic, um, I've got them panned left and right. So I'll record that again. I've got the reverb only on the JCM 800, which should be on the left. So I'll just record. So if we play this back. Now, if you wanted to take this a little bit further, the Ampero output setting um, for channel seven and eight is basically dry. So there, there's no effects going to it. So if I play that. So you can record, I might just record all three channels. You can record all three channels. And I don't need to hear the dry effects, so I'll just switch back to... Okay, so this is um, output one, output three and four. So we got uh, wet and dry. And then we've also got our completely dry signal with no effects, no amp, no, nothing added. Okay, here we go. So if we play back the dry signal, this is really good to record obviously with effects. Um, and if you find that you don't like the sound, you can reamp that. You can use um, an audio plugin uh, like THU. Just do that stereo. Southern Rock, Orange Amp. So the beauty of this obviously is you can change whatever you want afterwards. So if your performance was great, um, then you would just change the sound. Um, and you can do whatever you want. Um, and obviously you can combine the two sounds. Or the three sounds for that matter. Split that. Okay. 
So I hope that makes sense. Uh, took me a little while to figure this out. Um, they'll probably fix this in a patch in future, but at the moment that panning left to right does not work for, for whatever reason. Um, but there's a way around it. Let me know if you need more info um, on this slightly convoluted video. Thanks for watching.